classic scenes there. I love <laughs> watching that. That was so good. Oh, thank you. I mean, you're first, we're talking about their first day on set. You were nine. Yes. What would I was you remember nine. of that? All I remember was you, Sally. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all I remember was you. Oh. Oh, this made me feel emotional thinking about it. But yeah, I know all I all I remember was you. It's but... amazing looking at all those scenes, isn't it? They're hilarious. But they're so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you forget, <laughs> don't you, Helen? I forget all that. I now forget that. Sally loved to do slapping <laughs> <and she. laughs> Sally would love to be forty again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and were you nervous, or were you too young to be nervous? I just can't remember. I can't re really remember. But I remember you, my first. Day. And then I think it was just my life. It's all I knew. I didn't. Yeah. I've not never really known you any different. You weren't nervous, were you? I think you just got on with it, didn't you? When yeah. you're that young, you probably just enjoy that. You enjoyed being on the set and doing it, didn't you? Yeah. No, I just I just loved it. I don't really know any different. Yeah. But Denise, you were saying that you felt at a time that it'd be good to have a starter part, pack for young. Yeah. People I mean, obviously, I was did. talking more about the slightly older ones, yeah. the kids in their teens who had peer groups that you know when you've when you've been in a show and suddenly become really yeah. famous. Sometimes you can be a bit alienated from the people that you've grown up, whereas Helen came in when she was a child. So like she said, she hadn't really known anything yeah. else and you are protected with chaperones and yeah. everything. But it must have had a huge impact on your life. Well, yeah, but again, she I didn't know anything. I don't, know, any I don't, know, I don't yeah. know anything else, no. <laughs> I just remember you, like from from when I first came in, that you would, you always said, you always had your face just lit, you just always had a smile on Aww, your face, and it was just, and I remember, I remember the different stages of you when you hit your teens, and my mother, I remember having chats with your mother in, the, <laughs> in, in, in you know in the kitchen and everything. <sighs> <laughs> like we all do. And like you were still going through all those natural stages, but on yeah. the telly as well. Yeah. yeah. But plenty of scope to go back, Helen, would you go back? Yeah. Oh, you see, I, I was just saying this, wasn't I, yesterday? Mm. I'd love for Rosie to go back, but I think it'd be so funny if she was a mum and she just, like, dumped the kids with Sally. And... <laughs> I love that. I love that. I think that would be really fun, though, for Rosie to come back as a mum and... Um, and yeah, and cause some chaos, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, you are a mum, of course, uh, mum of mum of three. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's been well documented. You have had a, a tough time in recent uh, times because yeah. of the split of your relationship. And we were talking earlier about happy ever after. You know, do we believe in it anymore? Um, did you believe in it at one point? Do you still believe in it? Yeah, I mean, I, I was with, I mean, I was with my ex Scott from like be nineteen, and he was like my world, wasn't he? So like, can you you can yeah. remember everything? <laughs> he was like my absolute world, and I always thought we were going to be together. Oh, always, yeah. <laughs> when you um, when you did sadly break up because um, the last couple of days we've talked about a lot of, about mental health and you and I have talked in the past yes, about yeah. both our battles. And you messaged this. me as well. Yeah, but I just know that you really struggled. Can you just take us through? Because you had a sort of real breakdown, a real psychotic breakdown, didn't Gosh, you? you know, by I a lot of things. didn't think this would make me feel emotional today. Um, I think it was just... I think sometimes when I see the headlines, it can just be really triggering because it was just... I think what it was, I didn't really want to talk about it, but I think... I think the reason why I spoke about it was because um, I was just... I was about to do a six-month theatre tour and it was the night before that I had to go out for rehearsals and obviously, you know, I like to think I'm professional as an actress, you know, I would never do that if there wasn't a good not. reason. Mm. So that's why I spoke about it. But I think I find it really hard when it's, like, sensationalised in the press. Of and course, of We course. use these headlines, which I find quite difficult to read because... I think it. Sh I think it should be dealt more sensitively, mm. really. And also, Helen, you had. <clears throat> And I and I empathise with you. You had a bad reaction to ADHD medication. Yeah, it was a medication. And yeah. we both say that for some people it's a lifesaver, but it's not for everybody. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. added to to what went on with you. But yeah. you're clearly through it, and yeah. you look glowing. You're a fantastic you. mum. Well, you. Well, um, you know, Helen, in terms of the sensitivity, because you are a mum and your first priority is your three young children and yeah. you don't want them to see your life sort of represented like that. I know why Sue's dying to get in and I agree with her <laughs> entirely because on a much more positive note, Sue... Well, I just wanted to say, and I've been wanting to say this to you for ages, because having both done the jungle, and I remember your, I remember your first outing <laughs> in the jungle, and 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 you were, you, you, would say say you, were you were a bit a scaredy cat, weren't you? <laughs> so when you came back the second time around, and I I couldn't take my eyes off you. I was so proud of you. Aww, your you strength, the strength that you showed. I mean, uh, you did things that I don't think I could have done. Uh, but honestly, you were a great role model for other young people, and uh, I just wanted. Yeah. You to applaud you for that. So oh,
But go back to the old dating thing, you're also being very brave because you're throwing yourself into celeb school dating. Yes! Yes! yes. Yeah. yes. Honestly, so, I have loved it. It's oh, has it been good? So much fun. Yeah, it's been such a fun show to do. Like, I've really, really loved it. It was brilliant. So the, the whole premise of it is that you're going to be set up with a number of different dates who are not in your world. You know, they, they're not kind of celebrities in anything. And so you, you know, meet them. How, how did that go? Because do you, are you very aware of, oh, God, they know who I am. They might have an idea of what they think of me. I think you've just got to be open-minded, haven't you? So I just kind of, you know, was open-minded on the dates. I mean, I, I love the show. I love Celebs Go Dating. I think it's brilliant. So it was just so much fun, really. It was a great way to spend the summer and, you know, it was just a real laugh. What and does Matilda think of Mummy yeah. going on it? Oh, she, no, she's just mortified. <laughs> yeah, she's, just, she's just mortified. She just... I think she just... I think she finds me probably just really embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's our job, isn't it, to embarrass our children? Oh. Did it make you think about what you, you are looking for in, in an next relationship? I mean, yeah, I think, you know, it would be it would be really lovely to have someone. I mean, I am a romantic, definitely. You are. I definitely yes, am a romantic. Yes, you are. I am a romantic. And, um, yeah, I think it would be nice, but I think it would take someone really special for me, you know, to introduce them to my children or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. Someone with children, do you think, who would understand what it's like to be to have been a single parent? I think so. Yeah, yeah I think so. Whoever gets you, I mean, they're getting a girl with a with the biggest heart. Oh, yes. so thank you. Really thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And we, we're going to be talking about the summer holidays with the kids. Um, so we're right in the middle of it just now, and you've got three little ones under ten. Do you ever hide in the loo for a wee break? I mean, the, my children are actually... My childcare fell through today, so they're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. They're here. They're here in the dressing room. It was... Oh, oh Sally, honestly. Uh, yeah, it was a nightmare. So, yeah, they, they, they're actually here with me. But I... Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time I lock myself in the toilet, definitely. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. But, listen, yeah. we're wishing you all the very best. Helen Flanagan, uh, everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>